Yeah, my name is Richard Tay. I run a small design studio called Studio of the Green Isle here in New York. We actually have a project here at the conference. It's called Appeal. Uh, it consists of a wall, simply of stickers on a wall. Uh, and people can take out individual stickers, leave a mark. Um, so it's a commentary on um, interactive displays, on pixels, uh, and social interaction. These stickers, they travel from the wall to other walls, to other people's artworks, to people. We actually had a, a friend of ours, he saw it in Austria, and he flew back to London, and at Heathrow Airport there was one of the little stickers. This led directly to this project. This is in the um, lobby uh, of Google New York um, on 8th Avenue. Uh, instead of stickers, we have um, arcade buttons. So these are 6,000 arcade buttons that can light up. This is first and foremost a, um, a welcome sign, so it displays Google in different designs and animations, kind of like the Google Doodle homepage. But it's also fully interactive. In fact, I think it's um, the interactive display with the most inputs because it's 6,000 buttons that you can press. And we love these kind of projects that are playful and interactive, but are also a commentary on technology. The project I want to talk about today deals with um, resolution and granularity in technology. So we're interested in the obsession uh, around resolution, and resolution is important with um, technology and computers, but it's also really relevant for humans. This is not a new thing in computer arts. For example, this is Bell Labs, 1971. They're looking at um, how much visual information do you need to actually communicate or have a recognizable face in, um, in an image. So this is a Lincoln. Um, but of course, today we're talking about a very different type of seeing. So with machine vision, resolution also becomes important, but not only the image that is being recognized, but also the data set that drives the model to understand images. So for example, this is Places MIT. Um, it's around uh, identifying and recognizing different locations. So here are 64 cemeteries or 64 bedrooms. So what kind of images are they? Are these representative of um, bedrooms and um, uh, cemeteries? Um, and then, of course, the human body. This is uh, around um, American Sign Language, and it's a data set around um, the sign language. Uh, and you can see how these images uh, look like. They're not really created for humans. These are not photos that are made for humans. They're created for algorithms and um, um, uh, machine learning models to um, understand the human body. And it's not only still images, these are videos. So for example, this is a human action data set. This is, for example, you can recognize between a person that is walking and a person that is running. Um, these videos are filmed from above, so um, they could be in a surveillance camera in the future, or they could be driving the model that exists in a drone. And this is the data set that drives an algorithm, which in turn, um, uh, afterwards, we will not ever actually really be able to see these data sets anymore. <clears throat> this is an older data set um, by Yale, um, Yale's computer vision group. Um, and this is around face recognition, obviously. And it becomes interesting what kind of images are there, but also what kind of images are included in these data sets, what kind of images are not included, which faces are included, which faces are not included. Uh, this is a biometric data set around recognizing people by the shape of their hand or by the texture of their hand. Uh, and in this one, this is uh, actually around people's faces in disguise. So there are photos of people and then photos of the same people wearing sunglasses or photos of the same people wearing wigs. And can the machine still recognize them? Uh, this eye data set is a very uh, comprehensive data set um, actually because the images here are not generated from real humans. They're actually uh, created from a 3D model of um, a human person and an eye looking around. And it's the entire body that is being mapped this way. So um, it's uh, eyes and ears, but also teeth, tongues, um, veins. All of that um, is becoming parts of the human body that are becoming machine readable. A very famous uh, project in that respect is the Visible Human Project. These are sections of the human body that were cut um, at a millimeter rate, and this is a research data set, of course. All of this we turned into this project called the Unresolved Image. Um, it um, 
is a face from afar, uh, which resolves into many smaller images of body parts, which are 1,500 images, and the zoom just keeps going. So at this rate, we actually have three and a half million unique images that create this image. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs>